Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a card to show you today featuring the Frosted Forest Bundle. This is an online exclusive, which just means it's only available online. It's not in the catalogs. Anybody can order it. You just have to go online to find it. It's a really interesting bundle. It has the stamps, of course, and the dies, but it also has these tree building masks, which are so, so fun. I have just kind of become addicted to using these and building trees and making different trees. Um, we're gonna use this tall skinny tree here um, to make a fun fold card. Um, but I also have two other videos using this tree as well as the other trees. So make sure you click the link here on YouTube, go back to my blog, check those out and get that free PDF. All right, let's do our masking. Um, I have found this really cool sticky mat on Amazon. I'll have a link for you on my blog. It holds your paper in place and your mask in place. So that's what I'm using here. Um, we're gonna stamp the tree in Memento Black. And I wanna show you the difference, if I can find my Memento Blacks right here. Um, let's look at the difference. This sample right here that I made is the tree stamped. And then this sample right here is the tree not stamped. So you can do it either way. Um, I like both ways, um, but we're going to do the stamped image this time. All right, so let's get our stamp and memento black. Get it nice and inked. I, on my big stamps, I like to turn them over and ink them like that. All right, I'm going to stamp that right there. Now, um, on your masks, there's a notch, and you want the notch to be in the top left corner. They're also numbered one, two, and three, and I kind of like to do them a little bit different. I go one, uh, let's see, what do I do? One, three, and then two. I like to go light and then dark. All right, let's start with our trunk, all right? And we're gonna do that in uh, pecan pie. I'm using a blending brush, small or big, it's up to you, whichever you like. We have two different sizes of blending brushes. All right, now peel that off carefully. Then I'm gonna use number uh, two, and we're gonna do that. Actually, what did I, did I say I went out of order? Oh, I guess I do go in order. One, two, and three. All right, let's do two right here. And this time I'm gonna use Garden Green. I'm gonna use Garden Green for the lighter color and the darker color. Get that back in place. What you're doing here is you're covering up the inked parts that you just did. All right, now I'm gonna get Garden Green. This time I'm just using a smaller blending brush. And no particular reason, I just grabbed it. All right, we want to kind of stay light with that. Peel that off, and that beautiful already. Now take your number three and get in place. It's, it's kind of hard for whatever reason for me to get this one matched up, but just twist and turn until you've got the tree for the most part covered. And then just take the garden green and we're gonna do a little bit darker this time. All right, and let's look at those shadows. Beautiful. All right, now before I forget, we need to stamp our sentiment. I'm gonna do that in garden green. Here it is right here. Birthday wishes for a day as great as you are. All right, cut and emboss machine, whoops. And we're gonna get our two dies. We've got the tree die. And I've got a postage, perennial postage rectangle die. And I'm gonna lay my plate on top real quick to kind of snap those in place. Run this through. Move our machine out of the way. And now the easy part comes. Let's just put our card together. I have a card base pecan pie and I scored it at one and three, no, one and a half and four and a fourth. And you're gonna fold it like this. I'm using two different DSPs or pattern papers. This one is a Christmas paper, Seasons of Green and Gold. It is also an online exclusive. And then the plaid, which I love, is the Two Market DSP. If you look in the catalog, it's the one with the vegetables. And I'm gonna put a piece right here. And then we're gonna put a piece on the other side, right here, like that. Okay, 
Um, I have a, let's do the inside first. I have a piece of basic white that I'm just gonna put right here on a piece of garden green. And before I forget, let's see, did I get the bird stamp out? Well, maybe I didn't. Let's see, didn't I stamp the bird on the inside? Yeah, you know, I know I put it on a, a block. Who knows, we'll leave it off this time, but you can stamp those little birds right there in the corners. Whoa, let's try that again. I'm still looking for my birds, I'm distracted. There we go, that can go on the inside. I have a uh, pecan pie stitched, or uh, radiating stitches rectangle. And I'm gonna take that same tree that we did a minute ago. I don't have my chamois to clean it, of course. And I'm gonna stamp some trees kind of in the background, like that, all right? And then we're gonna take our tree and we're gonna do two dimensionals here. And we'll do one little mini baby dimensional down here on the trunk. Put that right there. Now, I noticed on my sample, I realized I used a product that's not available yet. This is some new linen thread that's coming out. Um, it will be, I believe, in our fall mini catalog. So be on the lookout for that. It comes in a three pack. Um, since it's not available, I thought, you know what, let's just use regular linen thread. And I'm going to make a bow with my linen thread. Kind of leave it long. And then grab your glue dots. And we're going to put a glue dot there. And we're going to actually glue it to the back. Let's see, I want it to go like this kind of hanging off the side like that we'll put a dimensional on the top or on the back on top of the bow and we're going to put that right there let's trim these just a bit and then we're going to close this and put two dimensionals to hold it down just on that front flap. I'm gonna kind of center it like that. And there you go. A fun birthday card. I think that would make a great masculine card if you need some masculine cards. Um, but it doesn't necessarily have to be masculine. It could be for anybody. All right, make sure you click the link here on YouTube. Go back to my blog. Check out that free PDF I have. Uh, measurements and supply list as well as ideas for two other frosted forest projects. All right, have a great time stamping. Bye, everybody.